You might recognize this next tune as the Carnival of Venice, which is a popular showpiece in the form of theme and variations. The G major setting is pretty friendly here, but you got to be comfortable in the key. Setting a reasonable starting tempo is crucial, as we don't want to paint ourselves into a corner. Build in some breathing room for highly technical spots and allow an exciting piamoso section near the end by playing within your tempo limits. Grace notes are numerous in this etude and they should be always placed before the downbeats rather than on the downbeats. Don't be afraid to experiment with B flat horn combinations on some of these for added facility. I had to really shed the 32nd notes of measure 31, ensuring that I could retain all the elements of articulation, clarity, and tempo. I did this the old-fashioned way, starting slow and increasing tempo gradually with multiple tonguing. to lightly re-articulate the adjacent B naturals in measures 33, 35, 37, and 39. Other alternate fingering possibilities could prove helpful in some of the arpeggiated passages and elsewhere, and they're all noted in my performance, so pay attention to those. Above all, remember that this piece is based on a folk song, and it should always be tuneful, joyous, and fun. 